Good morning, Libby the Landlord Helper back today to help you with the eviction process. This is our series on the eviction process, something that's really scary kind of for a do-it-yourself landlord. And this one is specifically comes up in a lot of scenarios because generally the person that is in the um, straits, I'll say, for eviction also might not be your model tenant. So you may have, um, I'll call it, uh, argumentative problems happening between this particular tenant and the neighbors so you're oftentimes issuing violations lease violations etc if you go ahead and talk to the attorney where you practice in the county and municipality in most cases as a general rule it is easiest and cleanest for them to proceed with eviction on non-payment of rent that's kind of I'll call it the black and white issue and while your tenant might try to make that gray, it's usually the clearest cut and the simplest for your attorney. Remember, your costs get involved with if your attorney has to go back to court repeatedly. And that's what happens when you get into the he said, she said between neighbors and in an apartment building. So while behavior is certainly something that, for instance, police, et cetera, police reports, certainly something that is cause for eviction, it may not be the route you wanna go. You wanna choose the simplest route just so you can get your asset back and put it back into service. So I'm glad you stopped by today. Don't forget you can like us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, youtube.com slash securepay1. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. You can find us on Instagram. If you need a free strategy session, it's that time of the year where you should be planning 2019. Our number is 847-431. 3300. Thank you.